Are we gonna pour the tea? Here we are, live. I think this is on. We're doing it. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Welcome to Tea for Lunch. Hyena, you're here. Should we have some tea? Let's do it. What okay. flavor are you looking for? I know this is always the dilemma. Uh, that looks good. You can have it if you want it. I oh, do. I'll oh, do peppermint. peppermint. Yeah, that's good. Peppermint's my go to. I already had my coffee today, so, and I can only have one cup a day. One cup of which coffee? Which sucks, yeah. But um, tea has caffeine in it, so. Well, most of like the herbal ones don't, but. Oh. But yes, oh, well. <laughs> most, a lot of teas do. Um, I'm so excited to be on tea for lunch because we, we've never done this together. Yeah. And I wasn't on the last week, and every time I watch Tea for Lunch, I feel like I have so many opinions that I'm like, (laughs) why didn't they say this? Or like, later on, I'll be like, Mike, you should have said it like this, or like, talk about it this way. So now I can just air all of my thoughts and opinions unfiltered. So I'm excited to do it with you. Um, Well, first, before we do intros, should we start the show? Yes, let's do it. Okay, so welcome to Tea for Lunch, the show where we serve up the news you need to know in 15 minutes or less. And it, today, it's me and Taina Hi. bringing you the tea. So before we get into our stories, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Taina, rhymes with hyena, if that helps you remember it. I am on the social team here at Arcade, and I help with all of our social platforms for our clients. Um, it's tons of fun. I pretty much just do social drafts and TikToks all day. Um, so that's my day. Yeah, and you've been killing it. She's been overseeing our our arcade TikTok account. So if you want to see her work in action, go check it out. Um, But yeah, how are you doing? How's your week so far? My week so far has been pretty good. It's been kind of busy, but I kind of like it when it's like you're busy but not overwhelmed Mm -hmm. and you're kind of getting into the rhythm. And it's been so nice. Like yesterday was like 16, Ah. and so I went for a walk, and it's just been really great lately. I love that. Yeah, as soon as the weather starts to warm up, I feel like I start to warm up emotionally, mentally, all the things. So yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm coming off a little bit of a sickness, but feeling better now, and I'm just ready to rock and roll. Nice. So, if you're new here, every week we'll come at you with a main story covering some sort of marketing angle. Today we don't have any, so <laughs> it's just the tea. Um, and then we're also going live every Thursday at 12.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is 2.30 p.m. Eastern and what Pacific? 11.30? 11.30 a.m. Pacific. Very good job. Um, <laughs> like <in> school. <laughs> you can also listen to the replay Friday mornings on every podcast streaming platform if you know watching this live is not your thing but anyways we have so much to talk about we're coming off of oscar weekend so you know we're going to talk about the slap heard around the world yeah let's get into it um so if you live in iraq i'm not even going to do a synopsis everyone you knows know what, what happened, happened. <laughs> chris rock got sought by will smith um we there's so many things that we can unpack here the first thing we want to talk about is making memes. So every time there's like a big moment in like an award show or something in celebrity pop culture, mm-hmm. it's like a marketer's reaction to make a meme out of it. And um, we've been trained so well. A lot of the people on our team were like up at like talking about it at 11 p.m. on Slack. And I personally had a bit of like a back and forth dialogue about it, but we ended up going the route of not doing memes. And just because it was like, it's a sensitive topic, it's very polarizing, weirdly enough. Mm -hmm. And it also like kind of connects, like there's mental health discussions happening. Um, Also like physical health, like it was around Jada's like autoimmune disease. So it was safer to not. Uh, Yeah, one of our coworkers, (laughs) like one of Mel, like Mel said, if it's controversial, you should probably just stay away from right. it. It's like there's so many other meme-worthy moments that you can 100%. pick up on that maybe we just take a pass on this one. Like, yeah. We just don't do it. And yeah. like I, I 100% agree. It's like if it's going to be controversial, of course that might get you. Sometimes controversy gets you more like talked about and mm-hmm. makes the memes go viral. But at the same time, it's like if you want to stay clear, I think that's like the better. Yeah, a meme should be funny. Yeah. And if it's not going to be funny, like not everyone's gonna find it funny, then maybe just like pick something else. Yeah, if it's too controversial, it's like, it's now you're just being rude (laughs) and being insensitive. (laughs) Totally, insensitive. So Mm -hmm. we steered clear of that, um, and I saw there's been discussion around that. The other thing, okay, and I have like, there's so much that's happened since the incident on the weekend. I have a theory, or like, I know that, you know, I'm sure Will Smith is getting like a million press interview requests Mm -hmm. all the time, but Mm -hmm. what's gonna happen from my, I think, my perspective is that they're going to go on Red Table Talk, 
data will. Yeah. And I think they're going to want Chris Rock to be on ta Red Table Talk too, mm. so they can like amicably like talk it through. Talk it through. Yeah. Let bygones be bygones. And also, like, there's been since this incident, there's been a lot of like. Uh, uncovered interviews from them where they've exposed some things in their past that maybe have like you know contributed to like their reactions yeah. in the situation or there's why they were emotionally yeah. yeah there's so many layers to it so I think that's gonna be the medium where they mm. express that I yeah. think Will and Jada want Chris to go on Red Table Talk Do you think but he'll go? no <laughs> I don't think he's gonna go cuz his the ticket sales for his comedy show are going crazy and I think that's where he's gonna give some sort of take on his reaction to it. But I think that's such a different medium though. Like your comedy mm -hmm. show is not the place to unpack everything that goes around it. And I think 100%. the Red Table is, is a good place for them to talk about it because they can see both sides and they can really get into it. And I think that he could go on there and promote his comedy show too. And so you can kind of do both, but it's he just said. see putting it in a different light. Because I feel like his comedy show will be very lighthearted and like talk about it in a funny way. But yeah, he'll make a joke out of it. Of yeah. course. Like he has to make a joke about it. Right. If it's too serious, then it's like, Why that's not really Chris <laughs> Rock. Yeah, so I think he'll probably go on Red Table for the serious version. You and think then he would go? I think he would because there's a lot of history there and I feel like a lot of people would want him to. Yeah, I think it's more of like, this is like, a sh because it was so public, it was on live TV, mm -hmm. I think like there needs to be a public like, um, like resolution to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And there were, they, they did do apologies. I think both of them. Um, I don't think Chris Rock spoke Oh, you don't about think it. he did? No, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm seeing Will's. I yeah, Will for that. sure apologized. Yeah. Um, Jada actually did like a post, I think it was like yesterday or something, and it was like, this is the ceiling for he healing, and I'm all for it. No caption, just a graphic, um, which I thought was interesting. It's like Very saying vague. something without saying anything. Mm -hmm. It's like, and I, you know, I, I wish I could hear from her more, like, because she was in the, the center yeah. of this, like, incident. I just wish I heard more from her about it, but... Because it is about her, so yeah. It is about I mean, her. So red table talk is yeah. what's going to happen. It's Maybe she's show. saving it for that. Maybe. Maybe. She's like, I don't want to say too much. I'm sure they would. <laughs> but it's just such a crazy thing that happened. Like, I can't believe it was on live TV for all of us to see. Yeah. Um, but it was wild. Did you watch the Academy Awards? I didn't. I didn't watch it. And that was the one, this is the first year I didn't watch it. And then of course something big happens and I'm like, oh wow, I didn't even know what was going on. Yeah. I was watching it, but they actually cut that part out. So I didn't even know oh, what happened. Did? And then my brother texted me. He's like, I don't know if you saw this on Twitter, but like the, like, thank like the unaired version on like Australian and J Japanese TV that was they aired. So that's it? what, so then they sent it I to thought me. it was live. How it was they? live, but they like cut it. Like they cut they cut, they like panned somewhere else, and then right. it was like the screen was literally black. And then. I didn't know that. They like, the sound cut off too. I didn't even know they could do this. Like, that's crazy. Thank goodness yeah. for Twitter. <laughs> like, I know, if Twitter didn't, you wasn't can't on hide it. Anything. Um, okay, but we also saw Will Smith has since apologized. Mm -hmm. He had an apology post uh, thanks to the Handy Notes app on our phone. He wrote out his sincere apology to Chris because during his acceptance speech at the Academy Awards, he apologize to the Academy and to mm. his fellow nominees, but yeah. not Chris. So I am I'm just glad that he made a public apology right. to Chris. Yeah. Um, but I don't think the story is anywhere near being over. No, and I think it did kind of take away from his award and like the yeah. his fellow castmates. So I, I appreciate that he did apologize for that. Also I respect how he tried to tie it back into like when he went up to to accept his award. Of he course did. it must have been so awkward and so like crazy but and then he went up there and he tied it back to Richard, Richard Williams yeah and I don't know if I <laughs> were Serena or Venus I'd be like don't bring my dad into right. this like, <laughs> it's like would he do that like I don't know. Uh, you don't know if he would do that like who's to say he would so but at anyways, least he tried to bring it back he tried he tried to bring it back so I do respect the effort speaking of apologies yes. Kim Kardashian apologized for what she said for uh, the, the advice that she gave for women in business mm -hmm. um, she mentioned that it was taken out of context and that it, she was sorry if we took it that way which to me isn't really an apology that's more of like a I'm sorry if you were hurt but she's like gaslighting the public pretty much um, she mentioned that the question that came before was what triggered her to have an attitude towards that question mm -hmm. where um, the interviewer asked after 20 years in the business you're still famous for being famous um, but 
But then when the editor went yeah. back and watched the raw footage and noticed that that question actually came after, and the question that she was asked was very clear. It was, what advice would you give to women in business? And that's like a pretty clear-cut mm -hmm. question. But in her interview with Entertainment Tonight, she mentioned, that was taken out of context, like without questions and conversation around it. But it's pretty clear what you meant. It's just, you said yeah. what you said. And she doesn't seem to be sorry about what she said. No. she. I think she's sorry. Like, I think Kim is so funny because she's like, that's not how I meant for you to react to it. Right. And even in, like, her fights with, like, her sisters and stuff, I don't know if you watch the show, but, like, she's always like, you know, I'm sorry that you feel hurt by this. Mm. Like, that's her way of <laughs> apologizing. And right. it's funny. Like, it works for TV. It makes for good TV. But it just doesn't work as an apology for the statement. No. And I love how she's being corrected by Variety magazine. It's like, actually, that's not what happened. Right. You weren't emotionally triggered. That don't question came us. after. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So don't place the blame on anyone but yourself. Right. Like, so, I don't know. It's kind of surprising that she messed up that way because... Kim is usually so, so good, good. Yeah. at, you know, like media relations, interviews, but yeah, yeah, this was not a good look. This is crazy it happened, but um, I know that she also, the family has this history of distracting the public when they mm -hmm. do something, so there's a lot of theories out there that every time there's a scandal, they always post a picture of the family or the kids to mm -hmm. distract us, and right after that happened, she posted lots of pictures of her and Pete and in the hotel room, all his tattoos, and so yeah. it was, everyone was talking about she that. Had her soft launch. Exactly, so it was like, she's smart, she's very smart, we'll give her that. Okay, but now that people are aware of it, yeah. it's not working as well. It's true, but I feel like it's still kind of is though because people are talking about the fact that she's distracting us so it's like oh True. she's distracting so she's us still, with this but it's still getting her name us to is talk still about on that. there and she has a show coming up right promoting it which is also you know good start. it sucks she said that but it made for a really good tiktok sound Dead. and we had some fun with it on our own <laughs> yeah. arcade tiktok which also went a little viral i think yeah, yeah like i think it was really fun but speaking of viral sounds on tiktok mm -hmm. at the academy awards also i don't know if you saw but julia fox was interviewed and she had two epic sounds that came from those red carpets one of them was like uh where she was they asked her about her eye makeup and she was like um i did it myself yeah <laughs> okay and then the other one was about her her book that she's working on and she said that she doesn't like to talk about the project before it's done but she thinks it's a masterpiece if i do say so myself so those two so sounds like I think are amazing. No I love Julia Fox. I want to pay Julia attention to what she's so doing funny. more because right. she's so funny to me. Like, but she's funny because she's not trying to be funny. Like, I mean, at least I don't think she is. I think that this no, is she's like sincere. her. That's just her personality, yeah. and she's been making some like good TikTok sounds lately, just because of just being her being her. Yeah, and I'm happy for her. Yeah, because I think like that's what she really wants is yeah. to like get have more attention, name. have her name, right. be like invited more to like red carpets, like be in the mix and stuff. Yeah. I love, did you, I don't know if you saw, but she did a tutorial on how to do like her eye makeup. A tutorial <laughs> no one asked for. Right. Which is Thank so you for your funny. service. <laughs> like, <laughs> she literally like messed it up and had like black eyeshadow Stop. on her cheek and she was like, this is rude, which is another sound that's going viral. Like she's just like <laughs> the queen of viral sounds on TikTok. Right. And, and I wonder if she's doing it, it on purpose or if that's no, just really No, it looks really really unintentional yeah it looks authentic and i think that's why it does so well yeah okay the last story is a very important one that we need everyone to pay attention to um beyonce performed at the oscars beyonce is back she is back for the first time in years right performed her song what be alive yeah which is like which was nominated for an academy award it was the, it was the original yeah it was and it was the um original song for um, King, Richard, King Richard, yeah. So it was just kind of like it does tie in a little bit. Sadly, but she did not win. Yeah. Billy really Eilish won. Which I'm happy for her too, but like I think Beyonce, well, I'm yeah. not going to say what I <laughs> but I always love when Beyonce performs because she always has this persona of black excellence and her band, her dancers, it's mainly people of color and even mm -hmm. the fact that it was 
uh, filmed in Compton. Like she always, every time I watch a performance of hers, I always end up feeling really proud to be black and being a woman of color. And I just think that she always does that in all of her performances. And even the song itself says, we are proud, we're happy to be alive here with my sisters. And I just think it was just like such a cool moment, um, especially for the movie King Richard. Mm -hmm. And just the fact that um, like Will won and she didn't win, but it still was like a win for the movie. Right. Um, and so I just thought that was really cool. Yeah, and I loved how Blue Ivy performed in it yeah. too. She came out dancing. And I actually didn't like, even notice her at first because she's so grown. I know, she's a grown up. Mm -hmm. I was very excited. Just I feel like I had like a, oh my gosh, it's Blue Ivy. Like it's right. another celebrity <laughs> that you spot. Um, she's so so cute. that was really fun to watch. I just watched, I watched, re watched that video because it's now like her official music video for that song. Yeah. Um, if I feel like I need to be inspired because she just. Everything is just another level. Yeah, she knows how to do it. Mm -hmm. She knows how to do it for sure. Yeah. Well, with that, that was a lot to cover today. Thank you for joining us. You did awesome. Um, now that we've wet your palate, go and eat something more substantial. Bye. Cheers. Cheers.